Nair here and if you haven't already subscribed you need to go ahead and push that button. I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve faux locks using crochet braid new locks however there will not be a need for a crochet needle. I'm going to be showing you all the knotless method of achieving faux locks. I'm starting off with stretched hair that I did put in a ponytail and then add some bands to further stretch my hair out. I'm going to proceed to part and I'm doing small to medium parts. They're not going to be extremely small but they're not going to be extremely large. It's kind of a good size for me. If you want them smaller feel free to do that. You're going to start by sectioning your hair into three sections. I start by doing one section first and then taking out my pre-loop crochet lock and these locks are by Sam's Beauty. They do come with a pre-loop but the loop is kind of hard to find in the beginning so you have to coil the hair in the opposite direction and then look for the opening. After finding the opening you want to separate the hair where it naturally separates and then put two fingers on the inside of the loop and begin to install the new lock by inserting your hair through the loop using the section that you already uh, separated and got out of the way. After having a good grip on your hair that's been inserted through the loop, you can proceed to make your other two sections and then you're simply going to braid. So as you can see, I have three sections and then I'm gonna braid it down, being sure that I keep that loop uh, new lock at the bottom of the braid. I can no longer braid anymore. I like to begin twisting, but if your hair is long enough, then you can just braid all the way down to the end. After my braid is complete, I begin to wrap the new lock around my hair. So I'm just going to make sure I hold the braid taut and then begin wrapping the area near my roots around the base of the braid. So you're just gonna wrap it around in the same direction that the lock naturally coils. If you do not wrap it in the same direction, it will not work. So you have to ensure that you are being consistent with the natural flow of the lock. You might find that there are some areas as you're wrapping that are still exposed with the braid. If that happens, you can always just go back and start again or just begin wrapping up to cover that area. When my braid is fully covered, I just pull the hair around and I will show that in a moment but I decided to go through the process of completing the majority of my hair. As you can see, I did add a brown one. I actually added about three brown ones. I put some moisturizer on my hair. Who doesn't love moisturized hair, right? So I'm gonna be imparting my hair in medium sections and installing the locks. Now that my hair is all parted and I have it sectioned off, I'm adding a bit of moisturizer near the roots and then I'm going to proceed to make my three sections. I'm adding color 1B to this section and for those who are wondering about the length of this hair, it is in length 18. I'm going to unravel the hair so that I can find the opening once again and I'm just going to insert two fingers and begin to install the looped lock onto my hair. the lock once again I'm going to begin making three sections after my hair is sectioned off I just proceed to add the crochet lock and then I begin to braid as you're braiding your hair you might find that the loop crochet lock might get in your way but just pull it down and it should be fine and you can just continue braiding it's really not a problem but I did notice that there were some moments where it would kind of get in my way so I just kind of pulled it down and proceeded to braid I'm going to wrap 
the crochet lock around the base of my hair first and you want to make sure that you're wrapping that area kind of tight so that it doesn't unravel so you're going to wrap that around and continue in the same direction that the lock naturally flows in and continue this process until the full length of your hair is covered you will find that when you're wrapping the hair around that there are some areas in the faux lock that are a bit resistant so I would just take the hair and just kind of scratch it down some so then I can actually proceed to wrap because I noticed that there were some areas where it's like it wasn't allowing me to continue to wrap but if you just kind of scratch it down or maybe if you get a comb or something and use that to make the hair a little more pliable then you can continue wrapping it around but don't get discouraged during the process because when I initially started I got first so frustrated because I'm like this is not that easy because I couldn't get it to continue wrapping around but if you just scratch your finger down you can get it to do so now once you get to the end of your hair as you see there's a little bit of hair that's left you just tuck that hair on the inside of the hollow area of the lock and then proceed to just coil it around your finger and it's tightly secured after doing this, I like to take my finger, hold it at the base, and then pull the lock. So then my hair is locked in place. And then I just proceed to find areas and continue to coil. And the lock looks so, 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 so natural. I love these locks because they're not shiny. They're not extremely shiny to where they don't look natural and they don't have like a natural sheen that someone with locks would have. So I just absolutely love that. So I'm gonna show you all one more time how to go about this process. And then we're gonna get into the accessories that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video. As you can see, these locks look like they grew out of my scalp. You don't have that really chunky loop that naturally happens with this type of install because of this type of method that I'm using, the knotless method, which was originated by, I believe, Jazz Nicole. I was so thankful when I found her video because I've tried this process in the past of installing crochet faux locks and I used the original method that was trending on YouTube and y'all, I just could not get it. Actually using the crochet needle and then trying to use that needle to pull your braid through the, the hollow part of the, the lock, Ugh, I never got that, it's so hard. When installing the lock near your edges, be sure to put the lock on the last section of hair that's going to be braided. I tried it in the first section and it just created a great deal of bulk near my edges and I didn't really care for that, so I just, put it on the last section and then proceed it to braid and it made for a much natural look. to use a lighter if you find that there's some areas that are not as refined as you like. I did do that on maybe one or two of the locks. So now that we've completed the install, y'all know I could not leave y'all hanging on my baby hairs. So I use got to be glue. I've talked about this glue or this gel rather. It's not actually a glue. I've used this glue so much in many of my videos. I love to use this for my edges, especially because I have really, really kinky hair. This gel does the job every time. So I just proceed to add this, use my comb to kind of get the natural design that I want and we are done. Now 
if you want to stop here you can absolutely do that but I wanted to add a little pizzazz to the look so I'm going to begin adding accessories I'm not going to show the complete process of the install of the accessories because it's pretty self-explanatory but I did find these really cool accessories that have like a cross and then there's another one that has a leaf also from sam's beauty i will have the link for these down in the description box sometimes it can be rather challenging finding these little pieces for the braids or twister or whatever the install is but i was so happy to find those i love the cross is actually my favorite and i also found this floral wire along with some jute cord from dollar tree guys like listen Look in the floral section for things that you can add to your hair. They have great stuff. I found really cool colors in the cords that I could add. I was super excited about that. You can even use this floral wire to put your hair in a ponytail. You could do it in a low ponytail, a high ponytail. There's so many options. <laughs> This is new to me, this is new to you initially I didn't wanna fall for you Gather my attention, it was all for you So don't take advantage Don't keep my heart damaged I understand that things go a little bit better when you plan it oh. When applying your accessories, don't get frustrated throughout the process. Just be creative and just kind of explore different ideas. I found that some of the ideas that I tried, I really didn't like, and I just played around with it until I got the look that I wanted. about my lip color I did get it from the beauty supply store but it's by Nika K it is blackberry and this really funky chocolate color that I can't pronounce so the lipsticks along with every other item will be in the description box so I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I look forward to your feedback and your comments if it was helpful be sure to share with a friend give this tutorial a big thumbs up I look forward to seeing you all in my next video Tsunami Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, stay tuned. I will be showing you all how to create pre-loop crochet faux locks on your own. So be sure to subscribe, guys.